hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so now in this video tutorial we are going to create a login form in the previous video tutorial we have worked on the set and cancel button and now we will work on the logout button so once the user click on this logout button then it should uh, send us to the sign in form or you can say the login form so go to the visual studio and here we left in the previous video tutorial so now you can uh, see this vp f1 which is our project name click here and here you can see this add click on this add and inside this add we have different options here you can simply click on this windows form and this window will appear then select this windows form and from here you can uh, give name to your this second form which we are going to create so we will give it a name as login form then click add and you can see our second form which is by the name login form is created successfully and if I show you the properties then here you can see the name is login form now here you can simply click on this toolbox and from here in the search box we can simply write label L A B and this label drag and drop this one and now let's increase the font size of this level one from the properties so first let's give it a name but for that we do not need I mean we do not need this level we just want to change the text of that to user so here we have this text and we can say user ID and then after that we need to change the text size and give it if you want to give it color or anything you can do so but from here we will just change the text size to 16 then let's add a text box here so you can simply write text and drag and drop this text box from here so this is our text box and now select both of these and copy this control C and let's paste that okay and we will change it to the first one we will change to the password just for the time saving we just copy paste this so change this to password and all we gonna need is to change the name of this so it will be txt password and the first one will be txt user id So that we can access both of these fields by their names now the next thing we need is a login button and a reset button that should uh, reset the form if a user uh, enter some input I mean some text here inside this user ID field and this password so here I can simply search for button B U T -T -T, and you can, here you can see drag and drop this button here or if you want you can simply uh, delete this one and go to the form1.cs design okay and let's copy paste this one so copy this from here control c and now go to the login form and we can paste that button here and now here we can copy paste that twice and change the text of it to login and also let's change the name of this to btn login and the second one change the name to btn reset and also let's change the text of this to reset so yeah that's it now what we want is whenever a user click on this login button then it should get the user id and password from a user and then we should uh, apply the if condition and we can check either if the password or id is correct or not so double click on this login button and here you can see we have this btn uh, login click so if a user click on the login button then here we can uh, get the first the text user id dot text whatever the user uh, write inside this user id text field okay so I'll put a semicolon here and if you want then let's add I mean we will save this inside a variable which is will be string and data type so this is by the name ID then the second one will be string pass equals to which means password 
and the field name is text password dot text. So whatever uh, the user write inside the uh, password text field, it should get that from there and will uh, store that inside this pass uh, variable. Then after that, we will uh, just display a default uh, by using the if statement. What we're gonna do is that for now we will just set a default password. That is, if id is become equals to pass become equals one two three four five six. So let's say this is the default password. Uh, let's consume that it is stored inside the database. Okay, and the id is i twenty five. So if this is equals to it then what we gonna do is that we can simply uh, send the user to the first form whose name is form 1 okay if I show you then this form name is form 1 so we what we gonna do is that here we can uh, just write the name of that class or you can say that form which is form 1 and then let's create an object of that which is you can give any name to your object but I create an object by the name F and then I can say form 1 then two braces and now by using this f we can say f dot show then it can show uh, it can basically send the uh, to that form or you can say it can display that form to us and in case if this is not equals to i25 and this and in that case we can say else and we can display a message to the user so we can say message box dot show and inside that we can say password or email is incorrect so yeah that's it and now let's run the app control f5 press control f5 so you can see that the app is running now successfully and we have to set a click listener on our this logout button so first let go to the form one form 1.ca design here you can see we have this logout button double click double click on this logout button and here we can uh, create an object of our login form that should send us when a user click on logout button then it should send us from the form 1 to login form so here we can say login form and we can create an object to new login form and here we can say login dot show now press ctrl f5 and now let's run the app so now i will click on the logout and it send us to the login form now here i can simply enter uh, any wrong id or any i mean wrong password okay so if i click on login then you can see it says password or email is incorrect now i'm going to enter the correct uh, id which is i25 and then the correct password and then click on login then you can see it send us to the main form which is our hello world okay and if i click on logout then we should log out from that form now here you can see when we type password then it uh, shows us that uh, password so it must uh, display us the password in sterex or dotted form okay because we do not want anybody to see our password so let's do that so go to the login form design and click here okay one click just and here if you scroll down here at the bottom and here we have this use system password okay and it is false click here and change this to true and now if i run the app press ctrl f5 and let's log out from the main app and now if i type the id and then the password then you can see it is now invisible I mean it is in the dotted form or you can say static form so yeah this is amazing now the next thing which we gonna do is the reset so if I user click on this reset then it should uh, empty both of these fields it should uh, reset the whole form so now for that you can simply double click on this reset button and here it is uh, btn result reset underscore click and now here we can say txt user id dot text equals to null and the same we will do for the password so we can say txt password dot text equals to null and now press ctrl f5 and here we go if i go uh, log out then let's type something here 
and if I click on reset then you can see it refresh the form so yeah that's it for this video and now in the next video tutorial what we will be doing is that here you can see whenever we type user ID and password then we click on this login button but we want that uh, whenever a user enter the user ID and password and if he uh, press the enter button on his keyboard if a user uh, press a key, uh, enter button on his keyboard then it should uh, directly uh, check either if the password or user ID is correct or not I mean there is no need to press the login button manually here by using your mouse I mean just like that and also if a user pre uh, press the scap button then it should uh, close this form or instead of that we can also perform another functionality that is for the reset that is if a user uh, click the scap button on his keyboard then it should uh, refresh the form it should remove all these things which is written here just like when we click on this reset button so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe thumbs up for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now